in the current release of Datagraph, if I had a bar chart, such as the one that you see here, and I wanted to change the data that's displayed, I could do that easily from behind the scenes. But if I didn't want to take the focus away from my graph, um, that's something you really could not do. And here, uh, what I want to show you, you notice here I'm clicking on this pie chart and the data is being updated. This is a new functionality that we have that's in the beta version of Datagraph now. Uh, these are called click events where I'm clicking on part of the pie and the data that's being shown is updated. Also notice how the title in the top left hand corner is also updated. Um, this is a relatively simple example, but I just want to introduce you to this concept in this video and get you thinking about ways that you could possibly use this functionality for your data. Here's another example using a bar graph on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I have a box and whisper diagram that corresponds to whatever data happens to be selected and highlighted. So if I click on B, I get the data set, the underlying data that corresponds to a mean value that's shown here in this bar chart. And again, if I click on C, same thing, I get my updated data. And the last example here is a little bit different. This is using a points command where it's allowing you to highlight a section of this data, uh, one of these lines, and I can toggle the data on or off as well as making multiple selections at the same time. So this could be, again, useful for if you're trying to compare different data, highlight a data set, or uh, discussing and presenting data. The click events are currently available in the points command, the bars command, the pivot command, and the pie command. And if you're interested in learning how to set one of these up, I'm going to talk about that in the next video. We're really interested in getting some feedback on this and uh, seeing you know, what you can come up with.